Hi guys, Mark Crossfield here. We're here in the golf cave at Honiton Golf Club. We've got Adrian Cave, head pro here at Honiton. Thanks for having us, Adrian. Not at all, thank you. Um, we've got Stephen Buzzer as always as well. We're doing a little bit of testing, guys. Thanks for being with us, Stephen. Thank you. Um, we're gonna do. We're gonna talk a little bit about effective sweet spot. Yeah, indeed. It's a funny. Is it is exactly. So we're gonna talk about <clears throat> what is a centered strike, and how a centered strike can change on the face. I've been doing a few social posts around this recently and some people have really kind of had quite interesting, almost eureka moments and lots of people are just like, what is he on about? I mean, how can a sweet spot move on a club? So we're gonna talk a little bit about when a centre hit might be a centre hit or not, subject to how you deliver the golf club. Uh, we're gonna use GC2 uh, in the golf cave here, which Adrian uh, fits with and teaches in here, don't you? So it's a great facility yeah. to show you some data around how we deliver the club and what we feel when, where we strike the ball on the face um, when we're delivering from some different angles. Yeah, let's get stuck in. Come on then, Steve, I want... Uh, Big draws, trying to find target, but I want good draws. So you're really trying to move it 20 yards in the air kind of thing. Oh, find target, is that a coaching or is that yeah. a... <laughs> God, once. Yeah, that. please find target. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you hit that? That felt toe. No, it was high toe. So it's a miss hit. It was, it was a miss hit. It was a buzzer, wild one. It was a... Your face was, uh, yeah. It was less hit another one. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, that again. A value for money shot. That's a lovely high draw. What is interesting, though, is that you did get it very high toey. Yeah. So you are so trying that, to move that, strike. Yes, what was that pair? Uh, 11 from the inside. Yeah. So a bit violent. So it was strike that let you down. That's turning, so you've turned it too much, but you've got the desired turn that I would like to see. Where'd you strike that? Again, it was toe bound. It didn't feel as bad as the previous one. No, it wasn't. It was 10 millimetres toe, 16 millimetres high. Go on again. Did it? Yeah. Okay, 10 millimetres toe, 9 millimetres high. Yeah. So yes, effective solid. Yeah. So not the geometric middle, but the, the effective CG is being moved out towards that toe, and you can feel that. Yeah. So, and what were you saying? So what was that pack? That was 9 or no, 10 from the inside. 10 from the inside. So let's flip it then. Let's go, uh, I want a, like big fades on the target. Big fades. Starting left, cutting back to target. Bear with me one second. Go for it. And I want to know where you feel you struck it. See, that felt low in the heel. It was. Very, that's a miss hit. Low in the heel. Okay, and again. Massive difference in strike. You would never get that contradiction in strike if you were playing stock shots. Yes. So two things to bear in mind now. Obviously, we're taking you slightly out of your comfort zone because you're trying to shape the ball more than you normally would. Yeah. But you're also, I think, actively trying to find the, the effective CG. You're, you're trying to find it. And obviously, with the knowledge that you've got now, that's a good one. How did you hit that? That fell middle. Okay, that's seven millimetres heel, three millimetres high. Yeah. So I would say that is effective middle. That felt as, you mean, as good as... You could hit it. Uncapable. Yeah, yeah, well, that's good, isn't it? But look, I mean, we'll, we'll stop it there and I'll do some. It's quite interesting how your strikes go all the way to the toe when you're trying to draw it, and then all the way to the heel when you're trying to hit that cut. So, obviously you've got knowledge now. I don't think you're using that knowledge to try and actively find those spots. No. You're, norm, you're just using your feel for start direction yeah. and striking the shot. You would have been, and I know I did, doing this as a kid. When launch monitors went around, people weren't talking effective CGs, face the past, that, that language wasn't out there for us in those days. Um, so, but you were still doing that. Yeah. So it makes me think, do we swing the club head or do we actively swing the effective CG? Now I strongly believe I swing the effective CG and I can't even articulate almost how I do it. 
but I see amateurs who I teach and you will as well, yeah. where they they're not sweet. They can't. I don't know if feels the right word. I don't know if the natural forces that are pulling on that club allows them not to feel control, but they're not swinging efficient, no. uh, uh, effective CGs or have no comprehension of where that is in relationship to they've struck to the shot they're hitting. It's interesting how it dances around on the face. It's really, face, it's really isn't interesting it? and it's a confusing topic, isn't it? But yeah, I mean, this isn't, I wouldn't... That hasn't really been... Yeah, this, is, this video for me, so I'm going to start with some draws here. This video for me, if I give you that one, I'll swap this, isn't about oh, I watched this video and now I drive the ball better. Don't, you know, go and watch another one. That's not what this is doing. This video is more of a discussion about, A, you guys, the more the guys down the lens there are kind of understanding that strike is the predominant factor, and also how thinking that hitting it out the middle is the answer. Well, you've just hit it in very different spots and thought you've hit the middle because the effective uh, uh, sweet spot is moving as you swing the club from different paths, different angles, different angle of attacks. It's three-dimensionally moving up and down, left and right into corners. Um, and one thing that I know, and I can't give them an answer, but one thing I know is that good players, as my studies kind of show in their basic studies, but they show, is that good players do swing the effective CD <laughs> and amateurs... Your average amateur has absolutely doesn't. I mean, if we could pinpoint why that is, I think you would have quite a big breakthrough in uh, trying to get people with some better shots. So I'm going to hit, try and hit big draws onto target. You know, I've done the same with you, a bit toey, but I've got it coming back. What was, uh, I mean, that felt high toe, but good. Yeah. What's the yeah, millimetres? So it the, says it in strike. here, look, 15 millimetres, yeah, absolutely. What's my club path? Club path, the 9.9. Inside. Okay. Inside. Okay, well, I mean, I'm now going to hit the cut. And you're a very neutral player, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm kind of two from the inside at the moment, but I can be zero. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm a little baby draw, two fours inside with my driver at the minute. So I'm now going to try and hit a cut onto that target. Um, low, good to heal. Slightly, slightly higher than you thought, so... Nine millimetres high. Okay, it's high, but it was in the heel. I mean, look at those two Just strikes. It felt, both of those felt equally as good and bad. Yeah. Does that make sense? So they didn't feel perfect, 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 but they felt good enough that I wasn't going to lose the ball and directionally. See, it's, the, it's the split. So let's say you swang those two with a zero pair. Those, that difference in strike, they're not going to feel anything Absolutely. like each other. Interesting points for people as well, okay? Um... Movable weights, custom fitting. Well, if you're swinging X path, X angle of attack, if it was gravity core, you might want it higher or lower to try and help you find middle a bit more. Yeah. You wanted um, sliding weights on my R15 here, more heel and more toe, subject to where you, because it does move the CG around the face a little bit, some people argue, how much is debatable, but it does move it statically around as well before you then start applying it. Um, so I think this is something where, for people finding their strike pattern around their delivery, finding where their effective sweet spot, and then building that club around that, can help them fine tune a little bit. Does that make sense? Yeah, uh, I'm just going to hit another cutty one because I was interested in that one. High. Can't tell the strike it was. It felt high, maybe toey. See, that's interesting because it is high, but look, that one is centered. Centered. Well, it's five millimeters toe. But it's more, I mean, it's 17 millimetres high. It felt much more toe -y. Um Interesting, interesting. Good stuff. Let's, um, let's see what Adrian makes of it. Right, Adrian, come on then. Let's see you hit some. Um, the draw is not your friend shot, is it? You were happy hitting the face. So let's go with the draw to start. Get that one over with. A good kind of 20-yard turn. Hopefully on the target. But just getting a turn is what we're after. Yeah, it's turning. Not massively, it's a good little draw. How do you strike that? Quite good. Yeah. I mean, it sounded good. Yeah. You felt good? Yeah. Okay, so you struck that seven millimetres toe. Right. But obviously your 
path was six to the outside, it was six to the right and the face was close to that path. So that is going to feel like the effective good. sweet spot. Okay, let's do it again. It's good. Again. Yeah, let's have that jaw again. Lower one. Where do you strike that? That was bottom. Okay. Heel or toe? Centre. Okay, interesting. Really interesting. You were 14 millimetres toe. Right. <laughs> um, swinging five from the inside, five millimetres low. Yeah. Both of those were geometric toe. Um, one of them felt fantastic. The other one didn't feel good. More from the lowness through your feeling of where you hit it. But they were both out towards the toe. So let me just change your data here. Then let's go to your friendlier shot. Let's do a nice cut, quite a heavy fade onto target. And again, we'll ask where you feel you've struck it. When you're ready. How did you strike that? That felt a bit toey. Yeah, it was. That was toey. So you would class that more of a miss hit? Yeah. That yeah, wasn't. absolutely. You get it. So that was 20 millimetres toe. You were nine across, so very good numbers for your cutty. The other thing as well is your three down, hitting that 20 millimetres toe and 11 millimetres high. So I feel way away, you want it to be hitting it in the heel and a bit lower yeah. with those delivery numbers to find that effective sweet spot. Hit that well. Yes. Where do you reckon he struck it, Steve? He's calling it good. Calling it good so he Hitting a cut, hitting down on a cut. Yeah, he hit two millimetres heel and then two millimetres high, so barely up the club at all, and um, two millimetres in the heel. And you're calling that, that felt good, yeah. spot on. Brilliant, excellent. Yeah. Right, guys, um, interesting numbers. Really interesting. For every person's set of data, when we tried to hit the high draw, our better shots felt like they were the toe. They, they felt also, um, we, we generally did hit it out of the toe unless we mishit it, which was our lack of performance, subject to how much we play and what have you. Um, and then when we tried to hit the cutty one, we moved our strike to that heel and said it was good when it was more out the heel. Um, so it, it makes me wonder, what are we actually swinging when people think, I mean, I've fought this for a while now and it's a complicated one and like I said earlier in the video, this isn't a video about oh you now can go away and play and hit great drives, it's, it's not about that, it's more kind of challenging your idea of understanding impact, yeah. understanding their delivery to understand how a golf club could perform better or not subject to when they're testing. Um, it's interesting how we all find that effective CG. And we wouldn't even be able, I mean, when I was a kid, I was doing this, and I'm sure you guys were as well. I would never have been able to articulate it to anyone. You know, launch monitors weren't around. Effective CG was a word not used. Path, face to path was not being used. So, but we were still finding that effective CG. So it kind of makes me think that when I test with stronger players, they're very good at just finding that sweet spot. Yeah. even when they dance it around on the face. And there's a bit of a risk, you know, if you either spray the face or you put impact tape on, yeah. maybe just judging it on solely, did it come out of this place? Well, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. How often have we done it? You go, oh, well, that's not right. Yeah, yeah. But it felt good. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the other thing, I agree. And the other thing as well is geometric centre means nothing. So face taping, putting the face and seeing how many you hit out the middle, isn't really telling you anything unless you have those other delivery numbers yeah. there. All it's telling you is that you're hitting the geometric middle of that club, but if you're hitting seven across, two down, you don't want to be hitting that spot on, on the face. Now, like I say, this isn't a video where you're going to go away and think, oh, great, I'm going to now go and shoot better scores. It's more kind of a challenge of your understanding of impact and what you should and shouldn't be looking for in fits and trying to understand impact as much as possible to try to get them to play a bit more kind of better golf in the long run when they look at their deliveries. Interesting stuff. Thanks, Adrian, for your Thank time. You. Thanks, cool. Stephen, as always. Um, post comments down below, let me know what you think. Um, I know lots of you are going to find this video a little bit challenging and almost kind of like, well, we've not really said anything there, but I actually think there's a lot of messages in here if you just look a little bit deeper. Yeah? Look behind all the effective CGs. <laughs> Good stuff. Post comments down below as always. Speak to you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video. Post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, 
find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.